Hey everybody, welcome to the Makeup Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome you all, welcome for my usuals. Hey y'all, how's it going Swag Fam? We're here, we're back, I have a beautiful look. It looks pretty. So, um, what are we talking about today? Right, we're here today because I am, remember in like a previous video I said that I am doing a back to basics makeup series. This is a another episode. I think this is probably episode three. Yes, this is episode three or four. One of the two. But this is another episode. Today we're going to talk about the four products every woman needs to have. Basic products every woman needs to make sure they have within their uh, uh, skincare products. Whether you use makeup or not, you need to have this product, right? It is very important because this will help with our skincare. Anyway, I'm not a trained professional or certified skincare person. I'm just a makeup enthusiast and a skincare enthusiast. And I want you to also have the great skin that I have, right? Whether you wear makeup or not. Let's get into this. Uh, last week, or I think it was last week, I sent out a few texts and um whatsapp messages and stuff to a couple of my friends and ladies in particular and i asked them what makeup what are your four top five products that you think every woman should have it was very funny because not funny but everybody gave me theirs and i was very happy at the consistency of the first three products and then the other like five the other two was a bit different and so i'll explain that when i get there there's just before this video is too long i don't want it to be too long i want you to be get bored ah so the first very important product that every woman should have these are people who wear makeup or not make sure the first product that you have is a cleanser are my cleansers right in i have two cleansers simply because uh, this is the one that I use on a normal basis this one and this is the one that I use When it's the time of the month when my friend comes to visit this is the skin cleanser I use mine is the skin cleanser gentle for sensitive skin and um, Soothing not irritating formula it softens and it cleanses and it's fragrance free This one is a bit of fragrance, but I also love it also has aloe vera the omega-3 plus facial gel cleanse that one you need to make sure that you have a cleanser that is applicable for your skin type and for your whatever condition if you don't have a skin condition then like pimples and all of that then you don't have to worry about that but you have to make sure that it's a cleanser that is for your skin type if you have a very um, dry skin then you must make sure that your cleansers are hydrating it's a hydrating cleanser mine is a hydrating cleanser because i have combination skin to the dry to more to the drier side and the um the the cleanser that i the both cleansers that i use are very hydrating to all my skin and so that's why i chose both of them right they don't strip my skin over what they already, already does not have or lacks uh, but help put more moisture in there. So all my products you'll see are mostly going to be hydrating uh, Products because of my skin uh, You can use whatever products that you have that is more applicable to your skin If you have oily skin, you must use products that are more for oily skin because that will help your face Also not break out a lot and all of that stuff, right? So that's good and also doesn't strip your face from like uh, Things that it already has like moisture and stuff so that's that that's the number one thing a very good cleanser if you have sensitive skin make sure you find a sensitive skin one i found mine in this game i know you could probably find one in uh, clicks as well the number two product that every woman should have is good ole scrub there are a variety of scrubs out there in the market you have to go out and find a scrub that works for you also right a scrub is not meant to be used every day of the week you use it once to twice a week that's the only time which you use it a scrub helps your skin because all the dead cells that are on on your skin it helps take out all of the dead cells once you scrub and clean the, uh, your skin very thoroughly and not just um a little bit like you do sometimes the, the soap does not even clean all of it so if you're going with the scrub nicely 
all of the dead skin that was on your face and all of that other eerie things that do in scabs and stuff your your scrub should be able to take away that as for exfoliating but my suggestion is always that you do it at night that you scrub at night you don't go out in the day so overnight you scrub it before you go to bed and then you apply all your nice things and your lotions and hydrate and whatever and then you go to bed i don't like it when you do it in the day especially when it's like you, you scrub when you have to go out basically that if you're scrubbing and you have to be at home i don't mind but then you can do it at home but the idea is that you are indoors and that you give your your skin a chance to heal because remember your pores are now open and it's become a bit more sensitive because of the scrub that you've used on your skin and so if you immediately go out after you scrubbed and then you just go out you're going to feel your skin is going to burn when you put it out there in the elements especially in the sun you, you your face will burn and then tomorrow you wake up with irritations on your skin you don't know why it's because your pores were open and your skin was sensitive and then you just went out into the sun it's that sometimes not even your scrub it's literally the fact that you didn't give your, your, your skin a chance to to just relax and chill and just heal itself for a moment before you take it all out in the harsh elements because the sun is very harsh we might not think about that or, or see it immediately but in the near future you start seeing it you start seeing a hyperpigmentation the areas that were scrubbed the most and all of that you know what i mean so basically that and then you must have a very good skin moisturizer lotion situation right for yourself i didn't bring my two now Ooh, very important whether you have oily skin or not moisturizing is for everybody you having oily skin does not mean you should not moisturize you being at home and doing nothing does not mean you should not moisturize you should moisturize your skin like when you're hungry you eat your skin needs that it's like it's food yes your moisturizing and your cleansing is like your skin's food healthy unhealthy depending on what you put on your face yeah so you might need to get a very good moisture that's number three so those are the top three things that me and my friends we could agree on the other thing that everybody did not even put in their uh list when they sent me their feedback is sunscreen people dear women my dear women sunscreen is not just for those days when you go out and spend time in the sun sunscreen is for every day you need to be able to put sunscreen on like you put lotion on your your face needs it you go out and throw out the the trash you've you've you already exposed your skin to the elements you and as us as black women we have so many hyperpigmentation issues because one of the reasons is only because we do not put sunscreen on guys cancer does not uh, discriminate at all also for, like the future effects on your skin because you didn't put sunscreen on will not go away the older you get right then your skin will start telling on you and be like you didn't take care of me when like those days and now when you're older you have all these pigmentation issues and you don't even know what to do but simply because you never took time to put uh, sunscreen on your face sunscreen should be added to your regimen guys so you must make sure that you have sunscreen under your makeup all the time right all the time okay so after you have all these products please note <laughs> let me also put it out now before you say that's the only products that you need those are not the only products that you need but those are the basic products for people who are not into skincare and want to continue on if you have those four products you're doing good you're doing really good you cannot skip any of them at all it's for people who wear makeup the other important thing that is not here that that you also need is a very good um makeup remover because you're not supposed to sleep with your makeup on that's basically that so for this episode i've told you the four plus an additional five basic um items skincare as part of your skincare and the most important guys don't forget to put sunscreen as part of your regimen i know sunscreen tends to be very expensive it's not 
considering how long you keep sunscreen compared to your lotion and compared to your foundation and compared to your cleanser sunscreen actually stays for a while i know i keep mine usually this small thing will last me a good three months even if it cost me like a hundred bucks you know what i mean and then if you have to think about every month renewing it you've spent like what thirty dollars every month so it's not expensive for how long it lasts but get yourself one get yourself a good one that's basically the products that you need for your skin i hope i've helped you and i hope you're going to go into your skincare stuff and then you're going to go look there and see which one we don't have so hope you have a great time and i'll see you guys in my next episode video makeup whichever one but i'll see you guys back here don't you forget to share the video with your friends don't forget to ask them to also subscribe and to also press the notification bell because then you can be notified of every video that i put out from now it's going to be a good series and i hope you're learning something put your comments down below if you have any comments about skincare stuff, if you have any questions, don't forget to do that as well. I will definitely respond to your queries and your comments. And yeah, I really enjoy reading them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.